God's holy and his righteous word. We will be coming out of the book of Matthew on today. 25th chapter of Matthew. Bear with me, I got quite a few scriptures on today. Matthew's chapter 25, verses 1 through verse 12. Matthew 25, verse 1 through verse 12. And it reads, <clears throat> Then shall the kingdom of heaven be likened unto ten virgins, mm -hmm. which took their lamp yeah. and went forth to meet the bridegroom. Five of them were wise, yeah, huh? and five were foolish. Oh, yeah. They that were foolish took their lamps and took no oil with them. Yeah. But the wise took oil in their vessels with their lamps. Yes. Mm -hmm. While the bride bridegroom tarried, they all slumbered and slept. Mm -hmm. And at midnight, there was a cry made, Behold, the bridegroom cometh. Go ye out to meet him. Then all those virgins arose and trimmed their lamps. Yeah. And the foolish said unto the wise, Give us of your oil, for our lamps are gone out. But the wise answered, saying, Not so, lest there be not enough for us and you, but go ye rather to them that sell and buy for yourself. And while they went to buy, the yeah. bridegroom came, and they that were ready went in with him to the marriage, and the door was shut. Afterward came also the other virgins, saying, Lord, Lord, open to us. But he answered and said, Verily I say unto you, I know you not. Lord have mercy. I know right. you well. not. And our subject for today is the faith of the unprepared. All right. All right. The faith of the unprepared. Uh, this parable is about a wedding ceremony. One that people will be adopted into the family of God yeah. and spend eternity with God in heaven. Yeah. One, my brother and my sister, must be spiritually prepared according to this parable. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Those versions serve as bridesmaids in the wedding. The people must be prepared. My brother, my sister, Jesus is coming back. Yeah. According to this parable, yeah. listen at this. He's coming back. And according to this parable that we are dealing with today, there's going to be a great number of people that's going to be unprepared yeah. when Jesus returns. Yeah. This parable is clear. And the ending is complete. The bridegroom in this parable, parable today is Jesus Christ. Those bridesmaids were dressed appropriate in wedding garments. Five were wise and five was foolish. The outer appearance was the same for all in of the virgin. Yeah, yeah. That's the out in period. Yeah. Right. Sometimes that's all we yeah. is concerned about. Yeah. Yeah. Is the outer yeah. appearance. Yeah. Yeah. But with Jesus, my brother and my sister, yeah. it's not about the outer appearance. Yeah. What Jesus is concerned yeah. about is the inner person. Yeah. In this parable, he speaks about a vessel and about some oil. Are we aware that our body is a vessel? Yes. A place that God will send his Holy Spirit if it's clean. And if this body accepts 
the word, which is his son, Jesus Christ. Our body will be a holding place for the Holy Spirit. Not about the outer appearance of it, but it's about the inside. Because God's spirit will not dwell in the one clean body. In this parable, five virgins was prepared to shine. Fire could not produce light, signifying in Jesus' eyes they were absolutely worthless. No light means that they were in darkness. It's not about how good a person is. And one of the sad things now we're living, people think that it's all right to be rich. It's not about being good. It's not about being rich. All one who character is about, we think his good character is all right. But it's about being a shining light in a dark world. Jesus, while he was here, told us to let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. Again, all ten of these virgins look good. They all look good. They all was dressed right. But five were wise, and again, five were foolish. Jesus teaches there will be, and even in our churches, that there will be tear among the weak. Yes. And he's talking about people. There will be sheep among the goats. But he tells us that we are not the one to be doing the shepherd. All right. All right. Because we look so much like tear yeah. that if you try moving some tear, you might end up moving some wheat. And you got to give an account to Jesus when you move some wheat thinking it's tap. Yeah. So the best thing for us to do is just leave it alone. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. There will be some sheep and some goats. But this is what Jesus said about this mixture. I will do the separation. Yes. Uh, a, a, a sheep and a goat. <laughs> a sheep is a humble little animal. He, he, he's uh, humble and he's meek and, and he's easy to get along with. But the goat has a hard head and he likes bumping heads with people. He's always butting up against something. But the Lord said they're going to grow together. But he said, let me do the separation. And I saw fit to tie this into the ten virgins. Because they all look the light from the outside. When Jesus was teaching about the wheat and the tear, the sheep and the goat, this teaching that Jesus was doing was not popular. And not only was it not popular, but it was not accepted. The same as today. No one wants to hear these kind of sermons. But even in our present day, these things are still happening yes. that Jesus addressed over 2,000 years ago. Yes. The parable, according to Jesus' teaching, is a large part of the church is unprepared for his return. The bridegroom was delaying. The bridegroom was delaying. He was delaying not from a divine nature, was he delaying? But God, and only God, knows the, the day, the time, the hour, and the minute, and the second that he's going to return. We ought to be glad that he's delaying. Because if we come today with the condition this world is in, all we could do is say, Lord, have mercy. Now, he delayed, and again, it was not in the divine nature, but from a human nature. God knows when Jesus will return. 
just as it was in Noah's day. Yeah. Noah preached 120 years. Yes, sir. He preached one sermon. One, and that sermon that he preached, that it's going to rain. Yeah. And he kept preaching it. And he yes, kept sir. preaching. And let me tell you something about the condition that the world was in yeah. during Noah's day when he was preaching that sermon. They was eating, drinking, drinking yeah. marrying, yeah. and having a good time. Yeah. It's a lot of eating, yeah. drinking, All right. marrying, yeah. and people having a lot of good time. Yeah. But when it comes to thank God for your eating and your drinking, and it even should be for your marriage, yeah. you ought to be able to come in on the Sabbath day and say, Lord, I thank you. Yeah. But yet and still, we are in the same condition that the world was in when Noah was preaching that it's going to rain. He had preached 120 years. And one day, something happened. One day, a cloud appeared in the sky. We know what happened. When it started raining, it didn't stop. Oh, they were still just going about having their time when it first started raining. But when the water started rising, yeah. and the water was not receding, and when the water started getting higher and higher, yeah. then they ran to the ark. Yeah. But guess what? When they got there, yeah, right. the door was closed. Yeah. And they was crying out to Noah to let us in. Yeah. But guess what? Noah did not have a key. To unlock the door. Right. To let them in. Oh Lord. oh, Lord. The door was permanently closed. And Noah did not have the key to open up the door. Yeah. Talk, talk. To save those that was crying out to Noah. Oh, yeah. This parable teach the foolish took their lamp. The foolish. Yeah. They took their lamp and they took no oil with them. But the wise took oil with their vessels. We do know that our body is a vessel for the Holy Spirit. The bridegroom tarried while all ten of those virgins slept, but it was at midnight when the people were in a deep sleep. My brother, my sister, let me tell you something. We got to stay prepared every day of our lives. He's saying something in this lesson on today. Whoever thought that it would come at midnight when people are deep in their sleep, but the bridegroom, according to our lesson, showed up at midnight. And when he showed up, there came a cry to go out to meet him. It was midnight. All ten virgins arose to meet him. Ten virgins, all ten virgins, trim their lamps. They turn that little stem. I know our young people don't know anything yeah, about yeah, this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Some of us older people. Yeah. We know about that lamp. Yeah. And we know about that oil. Yeah. We know it had a stem inside of yeah. it. And there was a little bit of knot. Yeah. You yeah. would turn the knot. Yeah. And you would yeah. let that little. Rick. Thank you. Rick. Let it drop down and get saturated in the oil. Yeah. Then you would raise it back up yeah. and you would hit that little wick yeah. and it would light up yeah. and give out light. Yes, sir. But guess what? Yeah. When they made, hit their, their, their lamp, thinking that it was going to get saturated in oil, to make it give out light, the foolish who took no oil with them, their light would not shine. The question is, how many of us are carrying oil to keep our light shining? Seven days is a long time. I, I need, this is me now. I can't speak for nobody else. Talk, talk, right. but, but seven days from Sunday to Sunday, yeah. that's a long time. Oh, yes, and see, I'm just like a car 
with the meat on food. Yes, sir. From Saturday, Sunday to Sunday, that my need to start going toward empty. empty. Yeah. So I have to find my way back to the place where I can get my tank filled. Yeah. Now, a lot of people just simply call this a building with four walls. Yeah. You might hear that come out of my mouth sometimes. But this is the Lord's house. God has a place. And when my tank get low, I come to the service station to get me some old gas in my tank. Now, they were all aware, all ten of them was aware that they needed all for their lamps. But five of them were foolish. But the wise took all for their vessel. And in verse 8, it said that the foolish, that the foolish said unto the wise, give us all. For our lamps are gone out. These wise answered and said, no. Go to the place. My brother, you better have a place. You go to the place that sells the oil. Now, we know that you can't buy the oil that we are talking about. Because the oil that we are talking about, God gave it to us. Who is about his will. We that are about God's will, this oil that we are talking about, which is the Holy Spirit, it can't be bought. God freely gave it to us. While the foolish went to buy or get the oil, the bridegroom came. And they that were ready went in with him to the marriage feast. And the door was shut. After the door was shut, then the foolish virgin came saying, Lord, Lord, open the door. And he answered and said, Verily, I say unto you, Lord, have mercy. I know you not. My brother, my sister, we don't never want to stand before Jesus and hear these words. Father, son, you telling me you know me not? Lord, have mercy. So we have to make sure that we are prepared. Now these five foolish versions are like many in this world we're living in today. We make sure we make sure that we get our physical food. Everybody makes sure that they get their physical food for their body. To keep their body strong. Keep their body healthy. Never well about spiritual food. Yeah. We are a family. I'm just talking about the green meadow now. Mm-hmm. We are a family of God's people. When Jesus returns, oh, yeah. the wife cannot provide all for the foolish. One must fully accept Jesus Christ. And when we're talking about accepting Jesus Christ, we're simply talking about what interests you ought to be about the word. Because Jesus is the word that became flesh. All we concern about the word. The Father will provide the all, which is the Holy Spirit. They was not here at the same time. When Jesus was here, the Holy Spirit was not here. He came and he did his work. And everything Jesus did is written in this Bible. Yeah. So when Jesus left, he said that I can't be with you yeah. while the Spirit is here, but I must go, and my Father will send you a helper, yeah. which is the Holy Spirit. Right. And everything they learned about Jesus was on the inside of them, and the Holy Spirit bring this thing to their memory. Yeah. My brother, my sister, this is personal, accepting the gift of God. God sent his son 
with a plan of salvation. Jesus paid the price for this all, for this Holy Spirit that we are talking about today. Now, a lot of people get confused about this passage of Scripture. But when you go to Isaiah 51 and 1, this is what it says. To everyone that might come and get water. And to you that have no money, listen closely, come, buy and eat with no money. Come, buy wine and milk with no money. Without money, that's, I'm reading you the scripture now. It said without money and without a price, but come and buy. How is this possible that you are asking me to come and buy to obtain these things and I don't have no money? What he wants you to do is he wants your time. He wants your effort. He wants you to take some time out of your schedule and come. Eat, drink, and all this is free. How can it all be free? Jesus paid the price in full. And it's there for us if we give God some of our time and some of our effort. Jesus prayed, paid the price in full. Now you might say, this preacher don't know what he's talking about. Go down to verse 3, 51 and 3, and this is what it said. Incline your ear. You know what it means, incline your ear? You have to come in here with your ear open to hear the word, which means you are receiving his son, Jesus Christ. Come. And this is what it said in 51 and 3. And your soul will be Saved. Yes, sir. Do you know the world is not concerned about their soul? Oh, no. All the world want to do is just eat, drink, be merry, and have a good time. Not realizing that you have a soul that must be saved. He saying, I will. This is what he's saying here. About and this is free. Come, eat, drink with no money. And then God said, if you do this, put forth some effort and your time. Come and do all this, and I will make with you a everlasting covenant. Include and incline your ear. My brother, my sister, when we come, I don't care what's going on all around me. You should not let anything affect you from hearing the word of God. People don't be just singing any type of song. They be singing songs of praise. Yeah. Talking about praising God. Yes, Come with our ears. This is what God has to say. Don't be distracted by other things. All right, all right. That's going on because that's what Satan would love for you to do. Yes, but come to incline your ears that you might hear yes, from God right. up on high. Come, hearing the word of God. Who is the word? The word became flesh and dwell among us. And this same word that we're talking about in our lesson on today, they're talking about the bridegroom. It's all about Jesus the Christ. I'm getting ready to close the foolish virgin. When they came back, you know, it, it, look at the scripture. Sometimes things are right before our eyes yeah. that we might not see them. But if you're led by the Holy Spirit, sometimes it show you things that are not even written. Yeah. But it said that they came back. Now, when they came back, they came back the same way that they left. Yeah. They went to get off. Yeah. But when they came back, guess what? 
they still did not have no oil. But they came back the fire that was foolish. When they came back, they were still dressed up like bridesmaids. They came back still acting like bridesmaids. They came back pretending to be bridegroom, be bridesmaids. And when they came back to the bridegroom with all this pretending that had been going on, guess what? The bridegroom knew exactly who they were. And he said to them when they came back, you just like you were when you left because I can't see you because you are in darkness. Yeah, in darkness. And his words were yeah. that I know you not. Their acting days had came to an end. Yeah. Their foolish days yeah. had came to an end. Yeah. Their pretending had came yeah. To an end. Their hypocritical ways had came to an end because when they came before the bridegroom, he exposed to them who they really were. They was walking in darkness. They were without no light at all. Jesus could not even see them. And the reason he couldn't see them because they was in darkness. Their final destination was a dark, bottomless pit. The fate of the unbeliever who was fully unprepared when Jesus showed up on the scene. But when you get here in the Lord's house, come preparing to hear from on high. Because Reverend Jones, there's a little song yeah. that they sing yeah. sometime before they even get the word of God. Yeah. There's a little song oh, yeah. that they sing oh, yeah. that goes something like this. This little light of mine, yeah. I'm going to let it shine. Yeah. This little light of mine, yeah. I'm going to let it shine. Yeah. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Oh, yeah. And the reason I'm going to let it shine, my God, yeah. my God yeah. gave it to me. Oh, yeah. And I'm going to yeah. let it shine. Yeah. Not going to yeah. make it shine. Yeah. Just going to let, let it shine. Yeah. I'm going to let it shine oh, yeah. in my Light. neighborhood. Oh, yeah. Don't let it shine yeah. on my Show yeah. everywhere, everywhere that I go, yeah. I'm gonna yeah. let it shine. Yeah. Jesus yeah. showed up yeah. late that night. Yeah. The foolish virgin, yeah. they are light, yeah. they are light, they are light, yeah. would not shine. Yeah. But my yeah. brothers and my sisters, yeah. make sure, yeah. make sure. That your light, keep your light, keep it shining, because when he comes back, he's coming back for the light of the world. He can't see you if you are walking in darkness. So what he's looking for when he comes back is a shine, shine, shining light. Be careful. Don't let your oil run out. Yes, and everybody yeah. ought to have somewhere yeah. that you could go yeah. and charge yeah. your body up, yeah. put oil yeah. in your body. Yeah. Yeah. If it's not on Monday, yeah. you ought to stop by yeah. on Tuesday. Yeah. No one be here yeah. on Wednesday. Yeah. On Thursday night yeah. and charge yeah. your system up. Yeah. We don't know yeah. when he is coming back. Yeah. Thank God yeah. 
for his delay. Yeah. There is a reason yeah. why he is the land. Yeah. Number one, well, the world well, is not ready. Well, and he keeps giving us yeah. opportunity yeah. to get a light shining. Yeah. Another reason yeah. that he's not coming back. Well, the church yeah. is too young. Yeah. Nobody yeah. come by my house yeah. trying to court my daughter yeah. when she wasn't old enough yeah. to be going out on no date. Yeah. The church yeah. been around yeah. 2,000, right. yeah. 23 years. Yeah. She's getting up yeah. in age. Yeah. And I think yeah. that she is no longer yeah. a teenager. Yeah. The church yeah. is grown now. Jesus, he's coming back. What is he coming back? Looking for his father. Telling him, your church, your bride, she is of age. Go down there, look for a light. When you find shining light, invite them to the wedding feast. When you get them together, I want you to pull them, yeah. gather them up, yeah. marry yeah. my church, yeah. when you marry yeah. my church, yeah. get her out of that mess yeah. that the world is in. Yeah. Bring your bride, yeah. bring your bride yeah. on home, yeah. bring them, yeah. bring them yeah. to a city, yeah. no more moaning, yeah. no more crying, yeah. no more death. Bring your bride on home. But his bride yeah. has to be shined yeah. when he come back yeah. looking for his bride. The church is yeah. the bride yeah. of Jesus Christ. Yeah. She's no teenager, yeah. no more. Yeah. The church is yeah. of age. Yeah. And Jesus yeah. might come back yeah. and get her yeah. any day. Yeah. Be ready. How yeah. can I be ready. Yeah. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. Yeah. 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 Amen. Yeah. Yes, amen. Yeah. Yeah. Then I tell the priest that sermon. The doors of our Lord's house is now. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. We best be about our God's business. Time's over for playing around. But time is to be about our Father's business. Will there be one? Will there be one? Will there be one for candidate for baptism? Amen. Will there be one by Christian experience and letter? Yes. What a powerful, powerful message. God bless the message and the messenger. Amen. Just go back into your mind right now and ask your personal self, are you ready? Are you ready? Yes. Have you walked with him? Have you talked to him? Have you called upon him? Listen, listen, listen.